Welcome to the GEMDS video training series. In this video, I'll cover how to view the MCR900's Link Quality Indicator, also known as LQI, to determine if your network can demodulate signals correctly. But before we get into the commands, we should understand what the LQI value means and what is considered a good LQI. LQI is a metric of the quality of the received signal. Unlike RSSI, which simply measures signal strength and does not care about signal quality, LQI doesn't care about signal strength. It is concerned with the correctness of the signal. This means how easily can the received signal be correctly demodulated. In general, the lower the LQI, the better the quality. LQI should be used as a relative measurement. Precision is fairly loose and subject to variation from radio to radio and modulation format. For each modem, LQI means something different because each modulation has varying received bandwidths, which can affect LQI calculations. All that being said, we still haven't answered the question of, what is a good LQI? We've done an experiment and generated this table you can use to check LQI to determine if it's good or not. How should you read this table? First off, the LQI on modems 1000W and 1250 are usually low. If you see an LQI value, then a signal is present. Due to the receiver's wide bandwidth in 1000, 1000W, and 1250 modems, the dynamic range is lower, which typically resolves on a low LQI. For the remaining modems, pristine means in an absolutely perfect signal environment, the best LQI will be less than or equal to the number in the table. Usable means the signal quality is good and the radio should be able to demodulate correctly. However, if LQI averages are approaching this limit, then one could expect there to be errors. Ideally, average LQI should fall somewhere in between the two values shown for each mode. To view the LQI parameter from the web GUI, navigate to your MCR900's access point and log in using the administrator password. On the left, click Interfaces. Under Status, click NX Radio. Scroll to the bottom and click NX Status. Scroll to Connected Remotes. Each entry in this table is a remote connected to your access point. You can identify each remote by its IP address or MAC address. The column AVG LQI is listed here. Lastly, scroll down to Active Channels to view the LQI for each available frequency the access point is using. This can be used to determine if there is an interfering radio on a specific frequency. You can then prevent the AP from hopping on that channel by using Avoided Frequencies under the NX Radio Interface Advanced Configuration Settings. To view the LQI parameter from the command line, log in as admin and enter the following command. Show interfaces-state interface NX Radio NX-config connected-remotes. You may want to use the pipe tab and pipe repeat command to make this look nice. To view the access point's active channel list, enter this command. Show interfaces-state interfaces NX radio NX-config active-channels. Lastly, keep in mind that this is a relative measurement. Please do not make any hard decisions based on this metric. Systems obviously are not the same, and dialing the system in may take a little configuring based on the noise floor, data type, and data volume. I hope this video was helpful for you. For additional information, please visit our website at www.gemds.com.